Partners in Ministry, a presentation of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation, dedicated to growing ministry support networks, introducing people to a cause that connects with their heart, bringing hope and encouragement to our communities as we seek together to serve as Christ served. Welcome to Partners in Ministry. My name is Dan Smith, and today I'll be talking with Sydney York. Sydney is the ranch manager for Wolf Ranch of Quakerdale near Marshalltown, Iowa. In this interview, we're going to hear about updates to their facilities and get a preview of their 2023 summer camps and activities. Welcome, Sydney, and thanks for joining me today. Hi. I was just looking at my calendar this morning, and I noticed that summer is just around the corner. That's kind of a scary thing for you because it gets really, really busy there in the summer, doesn't it? It does. It definitely does. We have so, so much planned for this upcoming summer, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Now, rumor has it that you've made some pretty cool updates to the facilities. Why don't you show us a little bit about what you guys have done? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely have. Um, and we are super excited for every single one of um, our facility updates and everything we have planned for the summer. So, um our first one that I'm going to show you is our new addition, the Cat Cafe, which we are calling Whiskers and Mains. So <laughs> over the winter, we've been adding um, Whiskers and Mains into our ranch house here at Wolf Ranch. And we are partnering with the ARL of Marshalltown. And we have an opening date of June 2nd um, for this summer. So we are very excited about that. Um, and you guys will be able to come see play with and enjoy all the adoptable cats that we have. And they are adoptable through the ARL. So we are super excited for, for this new addition. Sure. What, what does ARL stand for? The Animal Rescue League. Okay. All right. Great. <laughs> so kind of moving on to some of our summer projects. Um, we have quite a few planned and they're not small. <laughs> so our first project that we are super excited about is um, adding four new hitching posts um, outside of the barn that will give us more room to safely tie our horses, while also adding a little bit more of the Western look to the ranch. And then the pictures that I have here are kind of some examples of what we're hoping that they'll look like. <laughs> so um, we're very excited about them and they are super, super nice to have. So um, we're we're excited to get those in, that's for sure. Um, so then our next big summer project is we want to create a wash stall. Um, so currently at the ranch, we have a pole that we tie to, to wash horses. And we all know that sometimes our horses don't like baths too much. So um, building this outdoor wash stall will give us kind of a little bit more um, safety and convenience while washing our horses. So they're not, you know, running all over the place and um, a little bit more safe. And then we're also going to put um, slab concrete under like on the floor. So um, they aren't kind of destroying their bath while we're giving it to them by throwing the mud and the dirt back up onto them. So that is something that we are really interested in um, pursuing and our boarders are very excited for this um, project as well. Um, so then each of these updates and future projects at the ranch, um, they do require a lot of extra help. So something that I love doing is all outdoor projects, but unfortunately I can't do them all myself. So if you're interested in volunteering at our cat cafe or helping kind of make some of these projects a reality, um, you can feel free to stop out, call, or shoot me an email. Sure. Hey, where's the wash stall going to go? So our wash stall um, will kind of be um, right in front of our barn. Um, so we have a hydrant there. So um, okay. it's kind of kind of a really convenient place for it, actually. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. So now I know you guys have a lot of a camp uh, activities and camps that go on during the summer. So why don't you give us a highlight of some of the things that are going to be happening and how people can uh, connect with those? Yeah, so we are ramping up for summer very, very quickly. So once again, we are partnering with the amazing Kids to College program through the Marshalltown Community College. Um, 
And we are planning on hosting three summer camps this year. That would be in June, July, and August. And we are still kind of figuring out the exact dates. Um, but in these camps, we will be doing all sorts of crafts, learning about horses, brushing, and even a little bit of riding. So we had so much fun with this partnership last year, and we are very, very excited to partner with them once again. So this, so, this kids to college KTC, is that something through the Marshalltown Community College or through you or both? Yeah, so um, we all of the kids will register through um, the Kids to College program, and then we are hosting. So we plan the camp, and they provide the kids, basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then our next plan for summer camps is some week-long riding camps. So... Um, this is something that is kind of new to what I've kind of been doing, um, and I am very, very excited. I, When I was young, I participated in these sort of riding camps, and it has changed my life for, for the better, I think. <laughs> um, our first scheduled camp is Saddle Up and Ride. It is scheduled for June 19th to the 23rd, and it will go from 10 to 2 each day. So this week-long riding camp will provide kids with more riding knowledge, caring for their horses, learning about them, and even getting to show their families what they've learned at the family show on Friday. Um, we are very, very excited to premiere this camp. And with that being said, our first camp will have limited spaces and a little bit of a discounted price for um, our future camps, just to kind of give us a little bit of a taste of what it's going to be like and how much interest that there is going to be. So um, we have a limit of four campers um, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you have four little kids on horses, it sometimes can be a bit much to handle. So we are very, very excited about this camp and it's something that I wanted to do for quite a while, but um, we're hopefully going to get to that this summer. <laughs> yeah. So if I was a parent, I'm dropping, I get my, get my kid registered for this from uh, 10 to 2, drop them off for the day. Would it be possible for me to just kind of hang around and maybe check out the ca cafe and do some of those other oh, things yeah. while that's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. And just like all of our camps, parents are more than welcome to stay and to help or to watch or to help their child. Um we do not turn away extra help. So um, parents are more than welcome to stay at any of our events, any of our camps. And it is, we're, we're hoping it'll be a very, very fun week camp. Yeah. It sounds like some really constructive time away from the house during the summer that could really benefit the family. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> we, we hope that's the case at least. <laughs> so then um, kind of moving on from this camp. We are also scheduling summer day camps through the ranch itself. Um, these camps will be comparable to our camps hosted through the Kids to College program um, that will also have super fun crafts, activities, brushing, and writing. Um, these camps will also kind of vary in age groups. So we're hoping to have a camp for every kind of age group this summer, whereas last summer we kind of had older kids and younger kids. So we kind of want to incorporate all of the kids in the Marshall community and surrounding areas this summer. So um, be watching our Facebook page to kind of stay tuned, tuned in to all of these updates and camps and events and anything that hopefully we will bring this summer. But for sure, we will be having our annual My Pretty Pony camp in August and our cowboy camp in September. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm, as I'm looking at the picture, I'm noticing what a, a neat role the new indoor riding arena plays. Like yes. it, keep the kids all in one place. It's easy for the parents. You can see them in the back there kind of checking things out, watch what's going <laughs> on. And then more importantly, you're out of the sun. So yes. you don't have to worry about sunburn or that type of thing. That, that is pretty cool to have that facility. Yeah, so that this picture is actually my one of my favorite pictures of all of the camps that we did last summer. This was during our My Pretty Pony camp. And as you can see, they're all holding up their hands. And that's because we just got done painting the horses. So they all had paint all over their hands and they were handprints. And 
lines and hearts drawn all over the horses and that they absolutely loved that that was their favorite part of the day <laughs> yeah i hope you have a disclaimer that says do not do this to your brother or sister at home <laughs> <laughs> we might need to add that <laughs> <laughs> But we are we are really hoping that um, we get a lot more camps planned this summer and kind of on our schedule. So definitely stay tuned to our website and to Facebook. And that is kind of where you'll see all of those. And if your child fits into that camp. <laughs> yeah. So just as a reminder for people that are watching this, that not only does the, the ranch have these organized things that are going on, don't forget that this is just a place to drop in for a couple hours. I uh, just just hang out and see the outside, the, the cat cafe. Um, maybe you're looking for a place to do something for a, a family, a family reunion or something. Man, get a hold of them. There's great places for that. Or graduation party, wedding yeah. reception. I mean, there's just tons of things that yeah. you, can, you can do at the ranch. And obviously, Sydney's the one you want to contact. You can see her information <laughs> here on the screen. So do not hesitate to give her a call. I'm sure she'd be glad to, to talk with you about anything. So for sure, for sure. We we've done our facility rentals. Um, we've had graduation parties and baby showers and business meetings and family reunions. We, we've had so many different um, types of parties here and they all just absolutely love it. So if it's something that you're interested in, please feel free to reach out and kind of get some more information about that. Yeah. The nice thing is, is that it's so close to Marshalltown that if you're somebody yeah. in Marshalltown want to take advantage of this, I mean, in a short distance, it's kind of like you just drove halfway across the country to the to Colorado or something. Yes. <laughs> it's just amazing how different the atmosphere and just how fun it is. So, hey, Sydney, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it looks like there's just tons of great opportunities for people of all ages out at the ranch this summer. There is. There is. And we are very excited for each and every one of them. Got any questions for Sydney? If you'd like to learn more about the ranch or if you're interested in any of the programs or the opportunities available at the ranch, you can see their contact information here on the screen. You can also find it in the show notes of this episode on our website or in the description of this YouTube video. So again, thank you, Sydney, and thank you for joining me today. Until next time, let's get out there and serve as Christ serves. This has been a presentation of Partners in Ministry a podcast of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation. To learn more and see the show notes for this and other episodes, visit our website. To stay informed of up and coming broadcasts, subscribe to our e-newsletter. To invest in our mission, Donate today.